Don't be late, Father. Let's continue on. 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 Don't be late, Father. Let's continue on.
What you are looking for is in that book, Gabriel. Time to wake up, Father. Remember. Remember everything. Christus ab omni malo te defendas. Maledicti et excommunicati daimones. In virtute historum factorum de I nomi... I was like you once. But your God showed me another path. Messias. Emmanuel. Soter. Sabahot. Agios. Inkiros. Athanatos. Jehovah. Adonai. That's why the power of your God cannot destroy me, because I am his chosen one. Ubi furent haec nomina et dignadei, praecipimus vobis, ad quelligamus vos ut non habietas. What is that a bad pestin? Neck bear, aliquod! What I am quay, maleficium, no carry a incantatinum, neck quay! In anima, neck incorporate! Trevor? Trevor died a long time ago, Father. You made me what I am. I stand here before you, reborn, a vampire. I am Alucard. 
Why are you here? You know better than anyone I cannot die. My immortality runs through your veins too. Of course. Only my father, Gabriel Belmont, can destroy Dracula. It is too late for me. How can you be so sure? The roots of evil are deep. Irreversibly so in the hearts of men. It is their true nature. Their destiny. I was their most devoted warrior. A champion of light. But I fell. Fell into darkness. And now... I am feared as the Prince of Darkness. Ironic, don't you think? The mighty Zobek hides from me like the scared rat he is. Even Satan himself is too afraid to leave the pits of hell and fight me. But if I die now, Alucard, they will simply take my place. Evil will prevail. It is the natural order. The world is like this. Abandon all hope. No. What if there was a way to destroy their evil forever? To free mankind from tyranny. If they believed you dead, they would come out into the light once more, would they not? This... ...is the Chrysagrum. I forged this weapon from a fragment of the vampire killer you drove into Camilla's heart. I found it in the castle, all those years ago. The first time we faced each other in combat. If your heart is pierced by this weapon, you will fall into a deep sleep. It will not kill you, but you would lose all your powers and would not be able to resurrect until it was removed. This is not the true death you desire. But Satan will think you dead. Centuries will pass and his acolytes will start to prepare for his return. Zobek will no doubt think that Satan is going to return. And he will be beset by pain. Zobek knows only too well that he is no rival for Satan, so he'll look for me in the hope that I'm still alive somewhere. At the appropriate time, I will remove the sword. I'll make sure that Zobek finds you. He knows only that with your help can the Acolytes be destroyed and Satan's return foiled. I will be too weak. Zobek will see through the charade easily. The long sleep will fragment your memory. Zobek will only see confusion. I won't remember this conversation. And Zobek will see only dark shadows in my mind. But how can you be sure I'll collaborate with him? Because... In exchange for your help, he'll offer you the one thing you really desire. True death. Eternal peace. Zobek is the vampire killer. Yes. You thought your weapon broken, but he has found the fragments and rebuilt it. Only he can grant you eternal rest. You must allow the last acolyte a summoning ritual to bring Satan to this earth. We can trap him here. And we can destroy him. Forever! For that to happen, you must recover all your powers again. In order to confront him at that critical moment. You're asking me... ...to free the world from Satan again! To sacrifice everything! For humanity! Again! Yes, I am! Within this last moment, you will hold both Zobek and Satan within your grasp. <laughs>